find out what you want to go and do and go after it. Because so many years go by and you look back and you're like, what have I actually done? And the whole time, because you haven't been living a life in line with your personal values, you've been living someone else's life. Don't freaking do that to yourself. It's insane. You want to get to where you want to be, only you. Not what someone else thinks, not what the magazines think, not what Instagram tells you. Stop comparing your life to other people. Stop living in the deadly world of comparison. You're comparing yourself to other people and you're putting yourself down. You're lowering your self-worth. You're enough. You've already got exactly what you need inside of you. All you need to do is develop yourself, start to step into your fears and allow these things to come out and you'll be firing. You'll be going straight for your goals. You'll be going straight for your dreams and then you'll be able to look back and go, I'm so glad that I was brave enough and I had the courage to step into my fears because there would be nothing worse than to get to an older age and look back on my life and know that I didn't go and do something because I was afraid, because I was afraid of other people's opinions. It doesn't matter what other people think. The only thing that matters is what you want. What are your personal values? What are your dreams? What impact can you have on the world? If you can line up your personal values, create a mission statement that can actually have an impact on the world, you'll be drawn into it. You don't need to motivate yourself. You don't need to copy other people's quotes and other people's sayings and post them up on Facebook and Instagram. You'll be coming up with your own quotes. You'll be coming up with your own sayings because you're pulled into it. You're living a life in line with your personal values and your mission statement is having an impact on the world. This is coming from within inside of you, not from someone else. It's the only way. The best person you'll ever be is yourself. That's it, no one else. You're you. It doesn't matter if you're strange. It doesn't matter if you're different. It doesn't matter if you don't fit in with other people. Be you. If people like you, if people love you for who you are, they'll hang out with you. Forget the cool kids. Forget trying to fit in with other people. Forget trying to do things that other people want you to do. If you start chasing after your dreams, make no mistake, there's going to be people around you. There's even going to be people close to you that's going to try and bring you down because it doesn't line up with what they want. Forget it. Go after what you want. It doesn't mean they're trying to sabotage your efforts for success. It just means they don't want to be left behind. It just means they don't want to be left alone. They don't want to be left on their level. Just because they don't have the courage to step inside their fears and see what's on the other side. This is where the growth is. You find out your fears, you step into them, you get on the other side and things continue to open up for you. Where I started was, I knew there was a few things standing in my way from where I was now to where I wanted to be in the future. So what I'd done, I wrote down my top three fears because my main fear was that I knew if I couldn't step into a fear that was a little bit smaller, then there was no way that I could build the courage and be brave enough to step into number one. So I created a methodical, systematic approach in order to start to step into my fears and it's identifying your top three fears. What's number one, what's number two, and what's number three? Number one being most scariest, number two, and then number three the least scariest. Now don't get me wrong, number three is going to be freaking scary. But once you put some things into place, once you start to step into that number three fear and you come out on the other side of it, you build the confidence. By default, your self-confidence and your self-worth goes up. You increase your self-worth, you increase your self-confidence by default. This is what automatically happens. Step into that number three fear, get on the other side of it, and bang, you'll be looking at number two. You step into number two, you get on the other side of that one, and now you've got the balls, you've got the courage to step into number one. And unless you do it in a methodical, systematic approach like this, it can be too difficult. Some people can do that, but some people can't. They need to start off with something easier, and that's what I needed to do. This system is what works for me, and I want to share it with you because I'm sure you're going to get some benefit out of it. I'm not telling you that this is the only system, the only way to step into your fears, but this is what worked for me, and I want to share it with you. If this is what appeals to you, then go for it. Sit down, write your top three fears, hit number three, hit number two, and hit number one. And there's so much on the other side of your fears, it's insane. If you think about it, imagine, this is where I am right now, and this is where I want to be in the future. There's all these barriers in between, from here to my future. This is my end in mind, 
This is my ultimate goal. I want to go from here to here. There's all these barriers. There's all these walls in between. And what are they? There are other people's opinions. There are other restrictions. They're your friends and family maybe that's stopping you or telling you to not actually go for your end in mind, to go for your end goal. This end in mind is the one that sits in the back of your head, the one that you daydream about. It's almost like you don't even need to identify it. You're just innately thinking about it constantly. What's that end in mind? It's gonna be blurry, but once you start to bust down these barriers, it becomes a little bit clearer. It becomes like this vision starts to get real, starts to get tangible. It's almost like you can reach out and touch it. So what are those barriers in between from where you are now to where you wanna be in the future? What are these barriers? And I guarantee that those three fears, the top three fears that you wrote down, that's gonna be inside your gap, the gap from where you are now to where you wanna be in the future. So that's why it's so powerful. Identify these top three fears, three, two, one, and you'll be on your way. You'll be making progress. You'll build momentum towards that end in mind, towards that end in goal. Now look, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough, and it's gonna be freaking scary. But the longer and more often you push on these barriers, you push on these walls, the longer you push on those walls, it'll eventually fall over. Then you push on another one, you become stronger. You become mentally stronger. Just as if you were to push on a wall for a day after day, you're gonna become stronger and eventually that wall's gonna fall down. You're doing the same thing, you're just doing it mentally. Push on those walls, they'll eventually fall down and what you want to happen, you'll end up creating a domino effect. You'll just be pushing wall after wall after wall down and the next wall, even though it was bigger than the first one, because you're stronger, you'll be able to push it down even quicker. And sooner, rather than later, you're gonna build massive momentum, you're gonna build huge progress to get to this end in mind, to get to this goal, to close that gap from where you are now to where you wanna be in the future. Inside this gap, even though it's scary, this is where the growth is, right here. This is where the growth is. Identify your top three fears and you'll progress much, much quicker to your end in mind. This is what I call accelerated self-development. Nothing accelerates your growth quicker than stepping into your top three fears. Now, in regards to building a business, most people are so afraid to take this first step. It's like, oh, it's not gonna work out. What are my friends and family gonna think? What if I fail? What are they gonna think then? It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Because if your mission statement is there, if it's strong enough, if it's big enough and in line with your personal values and the impact that you wanna have on the world, then the opinions of other people don't matter. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Your mission statement is everything. It will guide you. Now through these hard times when you're building your business, when you've stepped into the shoes of an entrepreneur and you're grinding through it every day, you're doing what it takes. Some mornings you'll even watch the sun come up because you haven't even been asleep, you've worked through the whole night. It's happened to me many, many times and it's not because I'm just trying to punch out the hours and brag about it, it just eventually happens. You just work through the night and it was just normal, it's weird. It's weird to hear that if you haven't heard it before, but it's probably gonna happen to you. If your mission is strong enough, that's the same that will happen to you. Now during these hard times, even if you feel like you're not making progress, even if you're not getting the financial return that you expected, even if that financial return is taking longer and longer, just remember, in the beginning, when you're grinding through the hours, when you're putting in all those all-nighters, that's where you're making your millions. You're not making it later on five years down the track when you finally close your first deal or the best one yet or whatever it is. It's now, it's in the beginning. It's those hours, it's that growth. It's that pushing those walls down, facing your fears, stepping into them, seeing what's on the other side. That's when your millions are made. And it relates to business. It relates to personal life. Identify those top three fears, number three, number two, and then number one. It's not just to face those three fears and that's it. 
Those three fears are the ones you continually step into and expand on them. You do something larger within that fear. Stepping into those fears and growing from it, seeing what's on the other side, it ends up transferring and leaking into other areas of your life. It's not just you do that and that's it. Once you're stepping into number three, number two, and number one, it's benefiting everything. Everything affects everything else and you start to create these links and these links to other areas of your life. These aha moments, the light bulb moments, and you're like, wow, because I stepped into that fear, now I've got the confidence to do this, whereas I wouldn't have done it before. You know, maybe I wouldn't have started this business. Maybe I wouldn't have even taken the next step to chase my dream if I hadn't have gone and stepped into these fears. Maybe I wouldn't take that first step to make the first investment. Maybe I wouldn't take that step to get up and speak about what I'm passionate about. All these things, you step into your fears, at least in other areas of your life. It's a catalyst for so much more. This is accelerated self-development. It enhances your whole life. It enhances your relationships, your personal life, business, career, your performance, your recovery, your sleep quality, your mental health. Man, when you step inside of your fears and you come out on the other side, it is the best thing ever. I grew up partying with alcohol and eventually throwing some drugs into the mix. Wow, amazing. Put some drugs into the mix and you have the best night ever, right? Man, the way that I feel on a daily basis now from what I've been doing, the life that I live, eating clean whole foods, balanced blood sugar levels, living a life in line with my personal values, having an optimum morning routine that I do each day, living an active lifestyle that's in line with my personal values in the environments, areas, disciplines and sports that I love to be in and around. And then continually to step into my fears, meditating on a consistent basis and having an impact on the world that's in line with those personal values. I wrap all this together the feelings that I have during the day, there's moments during every single day that it's better than any party, any drug that I've ever had in my life. And what's best yet, it's repeatable, it's reproducible, it's sustainable, and it gets better and better. Drugs, alcohol, and partying isn't sustainable. What I do now is. And not only that, it gets better and better. When you're using stimulants, it's not the same as when you first experienced it. The feelings drop off and eventually you have to go and take more and more of it. It's like coffee. The first cup of coffee, great. And then you end up having three or four cups a day and you never get back to that same feeling as the first one. But living the life that I live now, it's sustainable and it gets better and better. It's freaking amazing and I want to share it with you. I want to inspire you to identify your top three fears. Start to step into them and see what's on the other side because inside that gap, where you are now to where you want to be in the future that's where the growth is remember that that's where the fears are you've got no choice but to go through your fears you can't jump over them you can't walk around them you have to step into them if you do try and jump over and walk around them, that's when you're going to get to the point years down the track and looking back on your life and you're going to have that feeling of man, I can't believe I didn't do it because I was afraid, because I was afraid of other people's opinions and whatever else it was. There will be nothing worse than to have that feeling. What sort of life do you want to live? What are you passionate about? What are your personal values? Create a mission statement around that and how it can impact the world and you'll be pulled into going for that mission statement and having your impact on the world. You won't need to find outside motivation. Where's your motivation going to come from? It has to come from within. It has to come from your mission statement and the impact that you're going to have on the world. This is the best way to build a company, to build a business. What impact can you have that's in line with your personal values and your mission statement? And then you can profit financially from that. And then you can have a bigger impact. This is the future of building a company. It's not just about making money. The more money you make, the bigger the impact you're going to have. That's what you need to think about. Eat clean whole foods, balance your blood sugar levels and enhance things through supplements if need be. Identify your personal values, create a morning routine around that, get your active lifestyle that's in line with your personal values, meditate on a consistent basis or do something that relaxes you or de-stresses you. Read a book, you don't have to sit there and meditate with your legs crossed but do something that is a form of meditation that is a de-stressor. The silent meditation is what works for me.
then identify your top three fears, start to work through them, and once you've stepped into one, all you do is expand on that and step into it even more. The second one, once again, expand on it even more and step into it again. Number one, expand on it even more and step into it again. And now you've got this complete system, this beautiful life that's your life, adapted to what you really want and where you're going, the way you see the world, chasing your end in mind. Now you're seeing what's possible for yourself. Now you're seeing what's possible in order to have an impact on the world. My name's Adam Phillips. I'm the founder of Life Grip, and my mission statement is improve mental health and prevent disease through nutrition, meditation, and active lifestyles. I hope I've inspired you to do something similar, create your own mission statement, step into your fears, and have an impact on the world.